Vanity tops are all on sale at Handyman. Choose yours from our stock tops or order one built just for you. Custom vanity tops all on sale at Handyman. To help remodel your home, Handyman. An F-16 fighter aircraft who is, who is assigned to the 144th Fighter Wing in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. A fighter jet stationed in Sioux Falls crashes into a warehouse in California. Plus... I stepped in that one little hole and it just sucked my leg in. My foot was up over here. A Nebraska farmer who had to cut off his own leg to free himself from an auger is back at home. Why he isn't letting the accident keep him from farming? That's ahead. Good morning, this is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. More rain is in the forecast and like we've been saying for weeks, that's not good news for farmers. The wet conditions are forcing some farmers to head out even with flooded roads. Rod Martin sent us this video from Sanborn County. In an effort to just get to his fields, Rod took this tractor and plowed through standing water. And based on the forecast, flood water isn't drying up anytime soon. Let's send it over to the Storm Center with meteorologist Scott Munt. No, it's not. We'll just add to it as we go through the weekend and into next week. But we also are watching for showers and thunderstorms, which may be severe starting this evening across south central South Dakota. Anything that develops will move to the northeast. And then as we go through the overnight hours, we'll still have storms and the severe threat will slowly start to go down. But we'll also have to pay attention to periods of heavy rain. And then for tomorrow, still a chance for scattered rain. Temperatures will be cooler, downright cold on Sunday. And you guessed it, with periods of rain. More details on a Kendall Land Live Doppler forecast with Brian Karstens in a couple of minutes. Thanks, Scott. Today we expect to learn more on the F-16 from Sioux Falls that crashed in California yesterday. It happened near March Air Reserve Base east of Los Angeles. Eyewitnesses say the F-16 Fighting Falcon crashed into the roof of a warehouse shortly after taking off from the base. That's pretty remarkable uh, that it fell into a building. There wasn't a large explosion. There was no civilians uh, injured uh, severely. The pilot was ejected survived uh, so obviously it, it was it was good we didn't have a tragedy the pilot was taken to a hospital for evaluation the fighter jet was conducting a training mission for north american aerospace defense command when the crash happened a different type of flight but still a big story coming up today a group of Kelloland veterans traveled to washington dc last week for mission four of the midwest honor flight tonight Kelloland's dan centella will bring you two stories on the trip in the first report, you'll meet Clifford Peterson and Rodney Gist. Then you'll meet four Stever brothers, 87-year-old Dean, 85-year-old Delvin, 72-year-old Jerry, and 66-year-old Kenny. I'm very proud of them. So even though the two older ones beat up on Ken and I when we were little, we kind of got over that. In Eye on Kelloland, you'll meet this band of Stever brothers. That's tonight at 10. A part of downtown Sioux Falls could start looking very different soon. Check this out. These are some of the pieces of the Ark of Dreams. The pieces will leave Rapid for Sioux Falls this morning. They're scheduled to make a stop at Dale Lamphere's Dignity Sculpture around 10 o'clock Central Time. Then tomorrow, the pieces will get a police escort as they make their way to Raven in Sioux Falls. An update on a story we told you about earlier this week. A Nebraska farmer is back at home after he was forced to make a split to second decision to save his life. Earlier this week, we told you how Curtis Kayser used a pocket knife to amputate his own leg after it got caught in an auger. The 63-year-old Pender farmer is back at home now, and while he still has months of recovery ahead, he is looking forward to farming again. Sure, I'm going to be doing the same thing again. I'm lucky. I mean, sure, I hate it, but it could have been worse, and there are people that are way worse than me. You can hear more from Kayser as he describes the accident and his quick actions. Just check out the link below. Brian? All right, uh, weather today. Well, all eyes will be on the forecast with storm development likely. Let's take a look at the latest feature scan outlook. And through midday, uh, not rolling out a scattered shower or thunderstorm, but it's probably lesser coverage uh, at that point in the day here. 
but even around Sioux Falls, I wouldn't rule one out. Now, the main thing here to watch is later this afternoon and really into the early evening. That's when the biggest storms are going to come up from central Nebraska. Any of those that you see on future scan in south central South Dakota could become severe. Large hailstones greater than golf ball size, wind gusts to 70 or more, and a conditional tornado threat attendant to the boundary. There's going to be a very fine boundary in here where you're going to have 80s to the south and 50s to the north. So when you get that kind of temperature contrast, we watch the weather. Now, tonight, the thunderstorm clusters will move east to northeast. Sioux Falls gets wrapped up into this too. Uh, we do expect areas of heavy rain overnight. Obviously, that complicates all the runoff and flooding issues we've had. There's the outlook there from the Storm Prediction Center. So more on that throughout the day. Let's check out your seven day colder weather. Sunday, Sioux Falls only 51. 50s next week. We've got two more big storms coming up in the forecast next week. The second one is there on Tuesday into Wednesday. In fact, this one is going to present a snow risk for the Black Hills of Western South Dakota. Very substantial. And we'll talk more about that too later today, guys. Thanks, Brian. And thanks for joining us for Kelloland on the go. Be sure to join us on air for midday in Kelloland. Until then, you can get up to the minute developments right here on Kelloland.com. Now go have a great day.